hello 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 welcome to this reading um this is for the zodiac sign of aquarius so if you have an aquarius sun moon rising or venus there could be a message here for you today this is going to be a general love reading uh is for the collective so again if you have aquarius sun moon rising or venus there's a message here for you let us start off with your current energy we have the two of pentacles and then we have the queen of pentacles and let's get one more for your current energy and in the pre-shuffle aquarius the two of cups came out the queen of swords the magician so oh we have the high priestess and seven of pentacles came out so there's definitely some this definitely has to do with a connection that you're in right now um and you know trying to gain some cl clarity some of you are trying to gain clarity some of you are trying to reassess your union your current union some of you are trying to manifest a twin flame or soulmate union so there is definitely the energy the energy of needing clarity needing um stepping a uh, stepping back and reassessing and needing more clarity so right now we have the two of pentacles queen of pentacles and the high priestess in your current energy so there is also a need of balance you see the two of pentacles here there is definitely a need of balance some of you guys may be trying to balance some things in the home um balance money in your relationship um there is definitely a need for, for balance and someone is coming there's a queen of pentacles here so some of you are in this energy of queen of, of pentacles where you are feeling abundant you are doing well um when it comes to the things that are kind of centered around your home and around your relationship with the high priestess here as well there is you know the matter of intuition coming up spirituality um the spirit realm so a lot of you may be utilizing your intuition to kind of navigate yourself through your re your relationship right now because like i said in the pre-shuffle there was an energy of definitely needing clarity on something and um reassessing reevaluating kind of stepping back and really digging deep and so I feel like you are digging deep into your intuition to help navigate you through what you're trying to balance in your relationship, okay? What does Aquarius have coming towards them? Spirit. The Page of Wands, nice. someone is or some sort of new communication is coming coming through and then we have the temperance patience balance transformation alchemy so i feel like you guys are really working on it working on being you're successful in trying to balance and allowing your intuition to guide you it's kind of it's working for you um the hanged man yeah so your relationship is i feel like you and your partner whoever you're partnered with you guys are going through a, a bit of a transformation your relationship and um like i said tapping into your intuition the need for balance and clarity um just really being that centered and well balanced 
person in the relationship Aquarius this is you the Queen of Pentacles you're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded she's Mother Earth energy she's very smart very business savvy and just so um, gives great advice is warm motherly and you know she's just like a big hug um so you're coming up as that which is which is not really aquarius like um but in your relationship right now this is your energy as you navigate this transformation that you and your partner are going through um i feel like you guys are really expanding and strengthening your relationships to your bond together i should say and kind of alchemizing things and kind of seeing what works for you and what doesn't and uh, what i really want to say aquarius is that you and your partner are doing your relationship the way that you want to do it the way that you two want you're not going by society's norms or you know what have you you're doing it the way that you want to do it and if that's unconventional for most people then so be it you know some of you might be getting into like polyamorous relationships or um you know open relationships or you know things of that nature just not allowing um society to really dictate what your relationship should look like and you guys are you know controlling and and navigating your relationship the way that you want it to look like which i think is really great and um you know, three major arcana here with the temperance, the hanged man, and the high priestess, which means that these are major, major shifts, major lessons for you and your partner, you know? So you guys you're taking a, a, a step back, reassessing things, looking at things, looking at your relationship, being patient with each other. Um, this is a whole new way of going to be a whole new way of being for you, a whole new way of communicating, uh, just a whole new lifestyle. And I feel like, um, you know, this may, might work for you guys because Aquarius is all about evolving, all about rebellion, evolution, doing things differently. So I could see... In Aquarius being in you know a relationship like that or you know making the rules of their own relationship so let's get the possible outcomes for Aquarius nine of cups queen of wands very good so you're gonna be fulfilled three of cups yep there's definitely some third party action coming towards you so i do feel like the three of cups does confirm um you know the uh let me adjust this okay perfect um the three of cups right here you sometimes indicates third party third party um interactions like a third person coming in um so there's definitely that energy of you know so there is your your relationship you're innovating your relationship right and this is something that you've wanted for a long time you guys have been very passionate about it with the queen of wands here um or this may be your partner coming in as the queen of wands and you are the queen of pentacles here it doesn't matter male or female it's just we're talking about the energies and the queen of wands is very passionate she's highly intuitive she's a go-getter and she's very very attractive okay um 
physically, mentally, spiritually, people are just attracted to a queen of wands. This um, person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So what you have coming towards you is a lot of passion. Um, maybe a third party coming into the mix of your relationship as you wanted because you have the wish fulfillment card here and at the bottom of the deck is the page of cups so there's definitely something new coming in that um is going to open you up is going to be different and um requires you know your intuitiveness to kick in so i feel like some of you who are, you know, bringing in other partners into your relationship to be very mindful and watch for the red flags. You don't want to bring anyone, you know, in willy nilly, you don't know, any weirdos, you know, really vet your, your people. <laughs> um, I don't know how that goes, but I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, there should be some sort of vetting process. Um, okay, but really go with your gut here and take your time. Okay, this is a really transformative time for you and your partner. So really just take your time and be patient. Let's get three clarifiers for Aquarius. We have the Blossom card, which I feel like your relationship is definitely blossoming and um taking a whole new turn that card is equivalent to the world card so we might be talking about endings and new beginnings um things coming full circle um maybe even travel for some of you just oops, this one wanted to come out take the lead take the lead okay aquarius you are being guided to take the lead in this situation. Maybe, um, you know, maybe your partner is needs a little nudging or might be the one that might be a little shy. So you should take the lead and, um, you know, nine of cups, wish, wish fulfillment. You know, go after what you want. One more card here. One more card. There's a clarification. Observe. Okay. Definitely observe your potential partners that you're bringing in. Make sure that you pay attention to what's going on red flags and things of that nature pay attention don't um close your you know i was about to say close your mind but um pay attention to this person that uh, these new people that you might be dealing with when it comes to bringing in a third party into your relationship so I'm going to get a final message. Final message. Actually, I'm going to get, if I have my romance angels here, I'd rather pull from that. Yeah. Okay. Romance angels. Let's get a card. A final message for Aquarius. A final supporting message for Aquarius, please. A final supporting message for Aquarius. A final supporting message for Aquarius. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And, you know, you guys, you and your partner might be um, discussing a higher level of commitment just because, and I feel like, you know, these, 
engaging in a alternate relationship lifestyle re does require a higher level of commitment. Like you need to be committed to your partner and, um, and to the lifestyle and to the, the type of relationship that you guys are trying to, to foster. So this does require, um, a higher level of commitment. And if some of you may not be, sh may not be sure if you want to extend yourself in that way in a relationship, think about it. Don't let anyone else talk you into a lifestyle or a relationship that you don't want to be a part of okay Aquarius so that is your your message your love reading um I've never done a reading like this before and this is new to me but this is what came through you know so I have to deliver the message in any case, um, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel, and check out the description box for more information about the, the personal services that I offer, where you can join my Patreon, and things of that nature, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.